Today's video is going to be a thrift store challenge. We are going to go to Pottery Barn, get loads of inspiration, and then we're gonna to go to the thrift store and see what we can come up with for a whole lot less. With that being said, let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that really caught my eye were these really aged terracotta pots and they were everywhere in the store. This one specifically is their faux potted fern and it costs $89. So I thought, why don't we go to the thrift store and see if we can come up with something a little bit more affordable. So I came across this crock and it cost under $7 and I liked that the color was just like a distressed terracotta color. It almost looked identical to the same color as the one from Pottery Barn. And not only is it practically the same color but it's also much larger in scale so something this size at Pottery Barn would definitely cost way more so I already had a faux potted fern that I picked up from Target recently and also at the thrift store I came across this bundle of ferns and some of them were missing some of the pieces but I'm really just adding to my existing faux potted fern just to give it a bit more height and fullness and variation in color so a much smaller faux potted fern from Pottery Barn was $89 and this cost me under $8 Pottery Barn definitely did not have any shortages of different trays. Trays are great for corralling like items and for styling. And I really loved these antique brass ones. And then when I was at the thrift store, I came across this large scale metal tray. Now we had some problems, but it was a green tag day and I got 50% off of that ticketed price. So I thought it's worth the gamble to see if I can kind of restore this large metal tray. When it comes to metal home decor, your biggest culprit is rust. And this tray definitely had some of that going on. So I tried to just wipe it down as best as I could, remove the dust and the debris that was existing. And then I got it to the point where I could just give it one coat of some gold spray paint. And then I just flicked on a little bit of black paint just to further distress it a little bit. So I'll link all of the materials I used in the description box below. The antique metal tray from Pottery Barn cost $99 and because I used things I already had, this tray only cost me under $3. One thing that Pottery Barn does really well is they make just really durable home decor. Even their baskets, they're stiff. You can just tell that they're made from good materials and they're really good quality. And that is definitely reflected in the price tag. But for me personally, I like to go to thrift stores and see if I can get that look for a whole lot less. So this specific planter was a bit too yellow for me, but then I came across this one and it was only $4 and it was basically the inverse colors of the Pottery Barn version. And it was even a bit taller. So while I do still need to add a liner to the inside to fully protect my fiddle leaf fig, I did add a saucer to the bottom so I would be able to water it appropriately, but definitely a major savings and a really nice way to get that high end look for less. Pottery Barn definitely had a lot of nice options for sizing in storage baskets, different sizes, different shapes, and you can also find similar things at the thrift store. You just have to do a little bit more digging. And I ended up finding this really beautiful large scale basket at the thrift store for just $7.99. And another thing when I'm at Pottery Barn, I'm looking at how things are styled. And while I was shopping around this store, they had a basket pretty much shaped just like this one with a plaid blanket spilling out of it. My blanket came from Amazon, so I will link that in the description box down below for you guys and then on top of the blanket they had a spare linen pillow as well as a fabric pumpkin and that really wrapped up that styling and truly the only new piece I bought was my thrifted basket so you really can't achieve a pottery barn look on a budget I would say the number one home decor piece that sticks out to me whenever I go in Pottery Barn is just the amount of lanterns, different sizes, different colors, different shapes, and it is definitely a pricier home decor piece. So I came across this one at the thrift store and it had some wax that was kind of stuck on the inside. So my hope was that I was gonna be able to remove it and it was only $6, so definitely worth the gamble there. I basically just spent a little bit of time and I scraped the inside of the glass and then I vacuumed the wax 
works out. Now for the candle, I had thrifted this candle. There was some writing on it that I didn't really care for, so I decided to just turn it to the side that was blank, and I added a little bit of sand to the bottom of the lantern just so the wax had something to catch on and it didn't get stuck like it did when I bought it from the Goodwill. A lantern of this size with a leather detail from Pottery Barn could cost you upwards around $300, and this just cost me 10 bucks. So when I was really honing in, in Pottery Barn, how things were styled, I kept seeing these jars or these glass bowls filled with potpourri or bowl filler. And if you were to purchase all of these things at Pottery Barn, you would spend between $75 and $100. And I'm sure that these smell amazing and maybe they really are worth that price point. But for me, I would rather just try to get that look for less and get something that's also quality but on a budget. So I found this really beautifully shaped glass bowl and also at the thrift store, I found this Yankee Candle Clean Cotton Potpourri. So all that I'm gonna do is just clean this glass bowl really well, remove all of the labels and the packaging, and I'm going to fill this bowl with that Yankee Candle Potpourri. And to be totally honest, this smelled way better than I anticipated, so I was really happy with this purchase. But something was just still missing a little bit for me. Now I know I can't actually light this candle, but I wanted there to be something just like a little extra. So I found this candle, it was super affordable at the thrift store, originally from Kohl's, and I just decided to place it in the middle of this glass bowl. And for just about $7, I have a very similar look, but definitely much more budget friendly. Next up, I wanna talk about textiles. And one of the main reasons I like going to Pottery Barn in person is to touch things. I like to feel the fabric. I like to see everything in person. So that way when I'm at the thrift store, I have a better gauge of what something actually looks like in person. So here's just a really quick example. When I was at Pottery Barn, I saw this plaid lumbar pillow and it was just under $70. And when I was at the thrift store, I came across this pillow that was $3. So one thing I personally like to do, I know some people who just throw the entire pillow in their washing machine. I really just like to use my own inserts. So I am going to remove the filling that's in this pillow right now. And then I'll just send the cover through my washing machine and then I'll just add my own insert. Pottery Barn definitely carries some of the most beautiful textured ceramics and pottery, but you can also find really similar things at the thrift store. For example, I found this set of matching pottery for just $13. And this for me is a really lucky find because not only were they a matching set, but they were also neutral in color, which is almost never the case. So I was really happy to come across these, but this is where going to Pottery Barn is so helpful. So you can see how things are styled. What florals are they using? How many florals are they using? So I really loved the use of magenta florals that they were using. So I have just kind of a mixed bag of florals down in my basement and I just grabbed all of the hydrangeas that I own. I stuck them in one of these pots and this was the end result. Super simple and super affordable. But more often than not, you will find glassware or ceramics that are shaped the way that you might see on a high-end home decor site or store, but the color is off. So I like to take a high quality spray paint like this one from Magnolia Home in the color Shiplap and just neutralize everything. So then that way you can always have more fun with your florals, but keeping the ceramics just in a neutral color. So I saw this hack on TikTok that you basically just spray your vase down with a sealer. And then just as it's starting to get tacky, you just kind of sprinkle on some flat and it just further mattifies your project, which is really what is trendy right now in home decor. So I just added some magnolia leaves to my thrifted vase and this was the end result. Now getting into some home decor specifics, I love this woven pitcher that Pottery Barn carries, but it's $48. So whenever I'm at a thrift store, I'm always looking for woven vases, woven pitchers, and I actually came across this one at the Goodwill the last time I was there for just $5. This woven pitcher came with a faux floral arrangement that just really wasn't my aesthetic, so I decided to remove it as well as the foam, so that way I could insert some real florals from my backyard. I'm just adding some soapy paper towels here to just help 
aid the process of breaking down some of that adhesive and foam and just clean it really well. So I got a hurricane vase, also from the thrift store for just over a dollar, filled that vase up with some water and I added my florals from my garden. And for just about $6, I was able to create a really beautiful arrangement for my kitchen. I would say, for me personally, I think Pottery Barn does seasonal decor better than anyone else. I think that they've really found a way to make seasonal decor look chic. So I came across this flameless pine cone candle. The last time I was at the thrift store, I found this pine cone candle for just 50 cents. So this is very much like an apples to apples comparison. Yes, one is flameless and you can change out the batteries and so forth, but I actually don't plan on really lighting this all the time. This is just to show you guys, you can find a really similar look, but definitely on a budget if you go to a thrift store. Another thing I'm always looking out for whenever I'm thrifting are different styles of cutting boards. So I came across this one. It's almost like a darker walnut color for just under $5. And to set on top of that, I found this set of two Moscow Mule cups for just about $3, as well as this candle for just a dollar. And as you can see, this Pottery Barn inspired display would not only make a great hostess gift, but a great display if you are hosting this holiday season. And now it is finally time to announce the winners of last week's giveaway. So a special congratulations to Cindy Marcus and Lynn P. But I also just wanted to thank everyone who entered and who continued to show support to this channel. I can't thank you guys enough. And that about wraps it up for today's video. If you guys want me to do this with any specific stores that you guys really love, leave it down in the comments below and I will see you guys next Sunday. Bye.